people thought that because I was effective making war, I should continue making war and uh, kill every single guerrilla that was left. That was impossible. Uh, that would take 20 or 30 more years. And if I wanted to end the war, in today's world, what we call asymmetrical wars all end in a negotiating table. What I needed is to weaken the FARC enough for them to go to the negotiating table in good faith, something that had not happened ever before. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was very difficult to explain to the Colombian people. So I'm one of the few leaders that was in a way elected by, would, you would say, the, the right in the first election and elected by the left in the second election. Uh, and I was elected as a hawk in the first election and as a dove in the second election. And that is not easy uh, because uh, the contradictions, uh, when, you, when you have to explain too much, you're in trouble. And uh, I had to explain a lot of why I did it and why I was negotiating and I, why I was sitting with my former enemies, which I then tra uh, transformed into my adversaries. This was a very, very uh, important lesson that a, a general gave me when I was appointed Minister of Defense. He said, you're going to lead uh, uh, the country in the war against the FARC, but I know that you want peace. And uh, so treat the uh, the FARC not as your enemies because you destroy your enemies. Treat them as your adversaries. You beat your adversaries, but you are going to have to live with them for the rest of your life. So they're human beings and humanize the war. That was a very important lesson because that's what I did. I told, I told uh, my soldiers when I was Minister of Defense, um, instead of we had a terrible, terrible uh, method of uh, measuring the effectiveness of the officers, which was the body count, the one that uh, the U.S. used in Vietnam, was a terrible way to wage war. And so I changed that. And I s told the uh, soldiers, I'm going to start measuring by the amount of people from the FARC that give up their arms and go back to their families. Mm -hmm. And we started doing uh, advertising campaigns, which even won many international prices like putting in, in the river light bulbs, uh, colored light bulbs with messages from the mothers and fathers of the guerrillas to their sons to come back. And that had a tremendous effect. And uh, the soldiers were proud uh, then of not showing bodies but showing I have these people who are going back to their families. So we managed to humanize the war and that gave the, our army much more legitimacy because they had respect from the communities, mm -hmm. uh, uh, protecting the human rights of, of, of the people. 